Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we are going to play a little bit with Wireshark, and I do mean play. So you should always get familiar with your tools in various scenarios before you get the call to go out, right? So here's a great little example. Um, if you're not familiar with Kali, Kali is a very popular Linux distribution that people use for all sorts of security kind of stuff. I'll leave it at that. But the point is you can get a live CD, shove it in or, a, or USB, put it in your computer, boot it up, and you've got Linux without having to actually overwrite your operating system. By doing that, then you can play a little bit with it, uh, get familiar with Linux, get familiar with security, and then what I do is I take another angle and I play a little bit with Wireshark as well. So what I did was, within Kali, I went to the terminal screen prompt, everybody's got a different name for it, and you can see it says nmap, that's what I typed in, and the IP of a webcam, all right? And the reason why I did that was I wanted to uh, scan, for lack of a better description, that webcam, see what the screen returns, but then go back and look at the packets. So in this example, you can see it shows us the ports that are up and running, listening, what services are available, however you want to say that. I'm going to come back to Wireshark now. These are all the packets that came out of that simple trace. So if you take a look down here at the bottom, it says, displayed 6,933 packets. So to do uh, some sort of manual, I'm going to say analysis of this, gets to be a little tedious, arduous, and people just don't have time for that kind of stuff. So it's a great opportunity to play with some of the reports in Wireshark so you get better familiar with what to look for, uh, maybe look for people scanning, uh, probing your equipment and what those kind of patterns look like within Wireshark. So here we go. I'm also going to do um, what everybody suggests in the feedback. People like when I pick a protocol and explain what it does in English without getting all technical about it. So I'm going to do a little bit of that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, Wireshark has a three pane display, right? It's called a packet list, the packet detail, and the packet bytes. We don't need this right now, all right? This is uh, just going to confuse you. It gives me a headache, to be honest with you, when I don't need that. So view, packet details, click. View, packet bytes, click. Now I only have the one list. If you find that this uh, info column is scrolling off the screen, there's a lot of dead uh, spaces between the columns, you can just move up here and manually resize as you would with any spreadsheet type application. Or up here in the toolbar, you've got these two lines with two dots beside the magnifying glass, and that will resize the packet list for you. There you go. If you find the font is too small, you can always hit the plus sign uh, on the magnifying glass, and that will enlarge the font, and this will reduce the font. So whatever it takes for you to be comfortable, go for it. And I'm going to just resize this again. And now here's our trace. So at the very beginning, what do we have? We have an ARP. And an ARP is here because we know the IP, but we don't know the MAC. And that's exactly what's going on. So he's saying, hey, webcam, what's your MAC address? Tell me. And then here he is. He's telling him this MAC address. So as soon as he knows that, then he can proceed with what he wants to do. In this case, it's to send a SYN packet, a TCP SYN synchronize, a hello, request to open, a handshake, the beginnings of a handshake. Uh, there's many different analogies, but I want to start a session. That's the best way I can say that, right? So here we go to port 443. Now, this is important. So you see that arrow? It's an arrow pointing to 443, and the destination is 54, which is the webcam. So I'm talking to the webcam's port 443. I'm checking the port. You can see the webcam here it sends a reset, right? The source is the webcam back over here. And it's from 443 because after a while you'll see there are more and more ports. So you should get comfortable right now while we start back to that port number, which is that device. It says, hey, reset. A reset, the best way to explain a reset, I'm refusing your connection. I'm punching you in the face when you put your hand out to shake my hand. And then that's how we end the connection. So this is this is really important. So if you're working with a system with a firewall and you don't want to see the resets, make sure they're not there because uh, some security people will argue if the reset is sent back, then the attacker knows that you're there and he'll try some other stuff. Um, some firewalls will not send a reset. And if that's the case, make sure that that's what you're doing with your equipment. So that's one example. So sin, reset, punch in the face. And that was on 443. Then I tried 1025. Now this is really, really cool. It looks like 
I send this 1025. Now, I don't really see it further on down. You see that? I see send, 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 send. So now what Nmap's doing, it's sending a whole bunch of send requests, right? Like a machine gun. So it's pop, 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 all the way down. And if you take a look here, this is my delta time. View, time display format, seconds since previous displayed packet in milliseconds, okay? Now by doing that, I can see that I had my first couple of packets, but then after that, this is all less than a millisecond. So it's very, very fast, right? So you can see since, 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 and then bang, there's a reset. And now if we take a look, where's it from 1025? Ah, that's the response from up there. So it's not that I didn't send a, re a reset, it's just that these came so fast that the resets happened to come later. So 1025, 23, 995, and so on, and so on, and so on, right? So that's a very simple walkthrough, a high-level walkthrough, but now let's start leveraging some of the reports to make this easier on our brains. Here's what you do. Statistics, conversations. Conversation is who is talking to whom, right? Click. Now I'm just gonna drag this over because it went off the screen. There you go. Make sure you click TCP, because that's what I'm concerned about right now. And I'm gonna sort by packets, right? Now, when you sort by packets, you'll see there's five, right? And if we move down far enough, um, we'll see six, right? And if you want to reverse the sort order, just click it again, and then you'll have the highest at the top and the other numbers below it. So there's a number eight, and it's 80, and that worked. I know it has port 80, but let's take a look at that and see what it looks like. So I'm going to right click. I'm sorry, I did that a little too fast. Right click, apply as filter, selected, A to B, bang. So now, I'm just going to click on the background here. You can see that I have a filter for these two IPs and these two port numbers. And what do we see? A SYN request, like we saw before, but now we do not see it reset, right? There is no punch in the face. There's a SYN ACK, right? This is a good thing. I put my hand out, you put your hand out, we're shaking hands. It's a three-way handshake. SYN ACK, SYN ACK. There you go. And now, here's the best part. Nmap is very polite. It says, oh, Wow, fin, I would like to finish. Fin, finito, I want to finish the conversation. So sin, handout, ack, sin, ack, fin, ack. So again, we have a nice um, open three-way handshake. We have a very polite fin, and then you'll see some other stuff after that. But this worked, right? This is the point, that eight worked. So if I go back to my statistics screen, you'll see that that's the only eight. Well, then what's with the seven? Did that one work? Let's find out. Apply as filter, selected, A to B. I'm gonna click back here. And you can see sin, sin, ack, ack, fin. See, that worked as well. So now we're starting to learn that within our statistics report, the, the port 80 worked, eight packets. This worked with seven packets, seven packets. So these all worked. So what's with the six? Let's find out, right click. Apply, select it, A to B. I'm going to click back here. And you can see there's a sin. Ah, there's a reset. So they didn't work. They did not work. Now you've learned a little bit about the statistics. You've learned a little bit about how Nmap behaves, and you know what's good and bad. So eight worked, seven worked, and then six, and anything less than that did not work. So looking at this, out of all these port numbers, those 6,933 packets. I know the ports that are open are 80, 554, and 6789. And I know that by simply looking at the conversation report, not having to go through all the packets. So there's a very, very simple exercise that you can do with anything. And if you are on a troubleshooting side of things and you see these patterns where these two IPs are communicating and you see a whole raft of port numbers, now I'm supporting them, sorting them by port number, port one, three, four, six, seven, eight, nah, nah, nah. obviously it's being scanned, you see? So that's another way to leverage the conversation chart. So I hope that helps. Uh, let me know what you think. For all the people with your feedback, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, and I will make more of these videos. Have a good day. Bye for now.